unless you're running illegal. I'm not fixing the thing or run illegal every day of the week, the whole year, to come out, out of the hole with them. You said you were going to do something that was your responsibility with following through with what your word was. Oh, well, 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 I don't give a fuck what the hell you pull. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Amanda back in the building. So, I, I, I guess there's some more tea to spill and some more foolery that's going around with you. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Uh, Y'all know I ain't finished. <laughs> is, is, is it with the last company we talked about or is it with the current company that you're with? This is all super ego that I'm still, you know, I'm with a new company now. I'm getting my truck today, but I still have super ego truck. You still have super egos truck down in Tennessee? Well, yeah, I do actually. You know, I sold it up in Toledo when I um, took a load to Kentucky to deliver, and then I drove from Kentucky to Tennessee for my orientation. So I sold it completely up. So since then, um, you know, I avoided them for a while. I said, oh, I had some things I had to take care of, you know, whatever. I still have their truck. I've taken the truck back home. I've gotten the trailer impounded. <laughs> I've brought the truck back to on that gas cell, on that fuel cell, I still think I got about a quarter tank, maybe an eighth of a tank. Now, I just went and picked up their trailer. I finally called them like, hey, where's my trailer? And they said it was impounded. Let me go get that trailer for you. So they paid $825 for me to get it out of the impound. Now I'm actually on my way to go drop the trailer somewhere. So it can get towed again. <laughs> okay, okay, hold, hold up, hold, hold up. Um, trailer, trailer got towed. Trailer got, got impounded. You drove the truck again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, you're with the new company down in Tennessee. You about to get your truck. You about to yeah. get your truck today. But in the midst of waiting for your truck with the new company, you decided to come back up to Ohio in the in, in the Super Eagle truck? I sure did. Okay, but the trailer, oh, wow. the trailer where you dropped the trailer off, where where did you drop the trailer off to get impounded? It was at a um, truck stop. And I left it sitting there for a week, so they impounded it. Oh. Okay, okay. So you, so basically what you was doing, you was just, you was just bobtailing. So was you, so was you driving on your, on the hours or was you PCing or what? Put that coffee down. I was just driving it. <laughs> so you was, you. I you was just driving the truck all willy nilly, with without all without, willy nilly, without what, no fucks given, absolutely. Right. So you, so you not on, so you not on the clock. You're not you 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 not on the clock. You you just scrapped the HOS out the out the wazoo and just drove the truck like it was your car. I didn't even get to. Yep, sure did. Drove it around town. I did everything. Wow. And then I get that fuel back. Wow. And then on top of that, I am going to have the tra the trailer re impounded. And they just paid eight hundred and twenty five dollars to get it out just yesterday. You you don't uh, I'm on my Amanda, way to Amanda, you you don't think that all that's gonna come back to you? Like you you don't think no. I mean they already they already paid eight hundred dollars. They paid they're oblivious. They're oblivious. What they pay eight hundred dollars? What, what you do? You call them up and be like, "Hey, uh, my truck got impounded." Oh, okay. I mean, my trailer got impounded. 
Oh, okay, well. Initially, they called me and told me that they got word that my truck and trailer was impounded, but my truck was never impounded. I was in my truck, and I was driving home from Tennessee, and I'm like, oh. Um, I said, well, I'm busy right now. I'll call you later. It was just my trailer that got impounded. So. But they assumed I unplugged my GPS, so they had no idea my truck was moving. So they had no idea. Okay, so they so they think it. But wait a minute, why would they even call you up after? Why would they even call you up? Because they should be upset at you because you're down in Tennessee. You're supposed to be up in in Ohio somewhere a couple of weeks ago to get your uh to get the loan. Because that's how oblivious they are. That is how oblivious. There's no communication in that company. Nobody knows their head from a hole in the ground. Or I asked them the whole crowd. They, like they don't know anything. They're they're not intelligent. Oh my god! So at this point, it's just been a whole complete like you know. Really, you can do. You you really can do so much to them, and they're not going to even. I mean, they don't even realize what is going on. So for the whole week. So, so for the whole week, they 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 just think that you're your truck and trailer got impounded. It's that's been why, impounded. That's why you wasn't able to, uh, I guess, do any lows in their minds. But shouldn't somebody, shouldn't your 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 fleet manager, sh- something should have popped in their mind like, I think she abandoned the truck. I told him I was truck. taking care of some personal, well, I, t- I told him I was taking care of some personal business in, in, in Tennessee is what I told them. Oh. Okay. 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 So, so you're in Tennessee. Well, was yeah. in Tennessee. You came back to. No, o- I'm still here. Oh, okay. But you said you went. You you went to Ohio for a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm in Tennessee now. Yes. Yeah. So I went back to Ohio. So I drove seven hours to home, and then I drove seven hours back from home. And sun. Okay, so I went home Friday. Friday, seven hours home on Friday, and I just got back. Where's this guy going? He doesn't even know. I just got back from home Sunday. Okay, so now you did you you already picked up the truck though? They, I mean the trailer. So you do you have the trailer now? Yes, I have the trailer. I'm getting ready to go drop it. Okay, so okay, so Amanda, 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 you you already good with the with the new company. You already good with the new company. You 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 terribly low on fuel. You you won't be able to use your car because they got it turned off because you're not on a load. So now I'm about to ask them for another load now. I'm- <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so so you so when they send you a lo- when the load information, then that's when they'll turn the car back on. Yep. Okay, so you're gonna bootleg you're gonna bootleg the card to get some to get some fuel. Why not just? I'm gonna fill up my new truck. No way. No way. Yes, you, I am. No way, Amanda. You don't do that. Don't do that. Why not? Do you know how much they have lied and scammed other people? I I, I am like, familiar with with all of the all of the informalities that controversial company Super Eagle has done to drivers. Yes, but Amanda, the, uh, I I I would I would just say why not why not just why not just just get a get an advance from the new company and just take the take the truck back to Super Eagle and then just and then just catch a flight back down to Tennessee to get you know to get into the truck and and go on about your business. Now normally that's what I would do, but here's the thing, like when they lie and they scam and they cheat people what makes them think that that shouldn't come back to them? 
How many people have they lied to? They've cheated. They've scammed and done dirty. I gave them a chance. There was no reason for them to sit there and not give me my receipts or skim off the top or anything like that. There was no reason for it. At that point, like, you can't keep doing people like that because eventually it does come back to you. Yeah, but what about but what about you though? You you you're not afraid that none of this that that none of this will come back will come back to you. You you're not afraid that somebody that somebody going to eventually figure out what what you have done in the past couple of weeks, right? I'm not worried. At this point like the truck's getting ditched today. It's going to get towed away today uh, from somewhere. Well, so you're gonna drop. Then they're the, gonna have to repay all that shit. So you're gonna have, so you're gonna drop the truck and trailer. But I, I'm I'm assuming you're gonna just drop it at the. You're gonna drop it at the uh, at 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 the at the truck stop, and you just gonna yep. and you just gonna leave it there and just. I see. Kumbaya, kumbaya. That, that, yes, and then that gives them uh, that gives them another tow bill. You know that costs them money. How does it feel to be cost money? I mean, it, it's not fun. Don't nobody like it. But why are you doing it to other people? Why are you doing it for these people that are coming to work for you with the expectations of making money and making a better life for them and their their families? For you to just sit there and scam them like that. And you get away with it because you're from overseas? Because we can't tap into your bank accounts if we win a lawsuit? I mean, is that fair? Is that fair to us as drivers that are putting our time into this place? It's not. Not fair whatsoever. I just feel that, and, and I understand. I agree with you. I, I, I totally, one hundred percent, agree with you. But I just feel that some type of repercussion is going to come your way. That's 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 what I think. I mean, I know you, I I know your your lease op and all like that. But still, even as a lease op. And you 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 drop the truck off. Does that still count as an abandonment, though? Even if you're a lease op, does that still count as a as an abandonment? I I would I would think so, right? How many? How in most cases, yes. But cheaters or people that are doing people wrong aren't going to run to the police and report it. They're not. They're just not going to. Because that brings the spotlight to them and what they've done wrong. I, I don't really feel like they're going to do anything. They haven't done anything to anybody else. You got one people that said, one person that said that he left his fender in one county or one state. He left his trailer in another and he took his truck home. He didn't get an abandonment. Yeah, I, I, I heard people or I, I heard of drivers like literally leaving the trailer in one place and it and, and and the company came and got the trailer and then soon as they got up out of the truck uh they was able to send somebody to go pick up the truck after they left it in another place so i mean and it's really like i'm not really doing anything to them i mean for real like i ain't costing them no more money than what they've cost me can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? A uh, large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. Mm, no, venti is 20. You know, like the first week, the first day I got the truck, it was broke down, you know? I mean, when you, when you say it that way, maybe, but considering the fact that you still got one of their mini trucks that they could have somebody else in there that they could be getting a a a payment from every week then when you look at it that way then yeah you kind of are count uh costing them money you you mean another driver that they can scam from i mean i'm saving that driver some trouble 
Hold on right quick. I got to give you this one. Hold on. It's really at this point, it's not about that they cost me money because I did make some money with them. It's the fact that you're scamming and you're lying and you're cheating people that are there to work for you. To an extent where some of these drivers have lost everything. And how fair is that to them and their kids? Well, I mean, there's, I mean, not, uh, drivers has lost a lot, with, not with just controversial company Super Eagle. There's been, there's been other drivers that, that has lost a lot with, with black ops companies, not, not just them. I mean, I, I talked to drivers that lost, that lost a lot with, uh, with a company called VL Trucking. Uh, I talked to uh, drivers, that, you know, that, that lost a lot with different, uh, with different black ops companies. So, I mean, I, I can see you doing this as a way, as a way to showing here, you did this to us. I'm going to do this to you, but theoretically let's, let's, let's look at it this way. Controversial company, super Eagle, like, like you said, they, they oblivious to what's what what's going on to what you're doing so obviously they're right. not bothered you know sure. i mean they're they're not bothered i mean there's been plenty of drivers that been trying that 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 hey i'm gonna leave the truck right here and this that and the third but those drivers was getting hit with their what, what, what do you call it the escrow you know that you guys got to pay an escrow. What twenty five hundred dollar escrow? They don't escrow? take escrow. Uh oh. They didn't take escrow from me. Oh okay. See, they they well companies that do the escrow thing, they do that because of the simple the of uh, the simple fact of they trying to protect themselves from what you're kind of doing. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I mean. Well, I guess I better get hip to the American way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> to be honest, oh, my God. You know, I'm a very sympathetic person. <laughs> but at this point, I have no sympathy for that. They're very dishonest people. And what makes you think people should be honest with you if you are honest with them? I, I I I agree. I agree. I mean I I mean, you know, you 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 kinda kinda did it your way, you know. You 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 did it your way. You 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 got, you know, you you first you you first seen the you seen the situation and you figured this wasn't for you, so what you're gonna do is just take advantage of you're going to take advantage of your situation that you have you 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 took the you know you drove the truck like it was you know like it was your regular personal vehicle to take care of what you needed to take care of because you didn't want to you you didn't want to get stuck anywhere you were smart enough to fuel up the tank before you, before it got empty knowing that they're not going to turn the fuel card on if you don't have a load you were smart enough to do that. You went, you 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 got in, you got in with the other company and everything. And now it's just a matter of just taking the truck back. In your words, just dropping it off somewhere. But I, I'm just kind of thinking that if you're gonna just drop it off, I, I was just thinking that just just take it back. You know, just take it back. Get a. You know, get an advance. Because they ain't paying me to come get this bitch. I ain't taking it back to them. <laughs> they ain't even paying me to come get it. Oh. I had to use my own. Oh, in other words, you saying that they called you up to go and get the trailer. And they didn't bother to give you. They they just they just gave you a T-check. How, how did you pay for the trailer? By T-check or by credit card or what? They pay for it. They pay by credit card. Oh, over the phone type deal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So eight hundred dollars down. You got the trailer, and now Super Eagle, controversial company Super Eagle, is just thinking that 
okay you got the trailer back let's go ahead and get her a low yada 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 that that's what super eagle is up under the impression yeah. that they're doing with you right now pretty much so, now i'm gonna ask for a load okay and i'm gonna fill up my truck because they wanted to try and start me in the home i'm gonna fix that they're gonna start me in the the positive for the new company that's what they're gonna do to repay me so I'm make sure I start off with a new tank of fuel for so, my new company. So instead of this, I, I would just, I mean, if it was, if it was me, I, I would just, I'll fuel up the truck, the, the, the super ego truck. And I would just ask them to just give me an advance and then just, and just roll out with it. Oh, I, I mean, get me advance too. Yeah. That, that's what I'll I would, that's, both. that's what I would do. I would just say. You know, hey, you know, I, I'm not you. You guys is not going to be able to get that. Y'all not going to be able to recoup that money from me anyway. So just let me go ahead. How much? How much advance can you get from them? As much as you want, or is it two hundred cap? No, it's fifty dollars a week. Oh, it's fifty dollars. So is that fifty? Just fifty dollars? So not even a lot. So that's just fifty dollars for one whole week. So fifty dollars for oh, god damn, they ain't. Ain't even enough to get motherfucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hey. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like they, they're just the whole thing of it. So at this point, my my new truck has a little over half a tank. So I mean, are they really gonna know? Other than I'm putting it out there that I filled up my well, other I, truck with it I, instead I of would theirs. I would I, mean, I would imagine that. I mean, it, what? Well, no, because you you already said you disconnected the GPS. So I I would imagine they would have seen that you're getting fuel that that you're getting fuel, but the truck they see the truck is over at over at Timbuktu, but you over here in in Fond du Lac, uh, uh, Wisconsin, getting fuel. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get fuel here where I'm at, but. The thing is, is like, if I got fuel today, they have to send somebody to get this truck. At that point, are they going to know that that fuel went into my truck and not this truck? They don't know. Point. They're not here to see anything. Point, point and taken. And even when they get it back to the yard, how are they supposed to know? Woo, Amanda, you're, you're a savage, Amanda. You're a savage over there, boy. I'm a devious motherfucker when you play with me. Like, Ooh, you skipped off the top, you lied to me, you breached your contract. Now it's my turn. It's my turn to play games. You got your games for a couple of weeks, it's my turn. You can't be mad when I do it back because you just did it to me. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Now, I kind of I kind of hate to say that maybe you can get over on a company like controversial company Super Eagle. But I don't think you can get over on like a mega carrier or any other company that's 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 like that. Uh, that's but like if a it was another mega carrier, you can sue them and get somewhere because they have American bank accounts. This one you cannot. So the only way to get over on them is to play games with them the way they play games with you. Ooh. All right. When I've worked for plenty of trucking companies. I will tell you what, I've never done a trucking company. Even if I left on bad terms, I will have never done any other company like this because they were not dishonest to that extent. They were fair. If that makes any sense, they were fair. I've been with Western Express for two years. I, I left on good terms with them. I didn't abandon their truck or nothing. I think stayed in communication. I was very fair to them. And, uh, you know, I've worked with other trucking companies. I've worked with Barracuda Logistics. I will tell you what, they were fair. And when I left them, I didn't do them any kind of dirty because they were fair. They were honest. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't see no reciprocation. Well, I could see it, but I mean, in all honesty, like if you do go to a different company and you was to say that, hey, I was with 
controversial company, Super Eagle. I, I really don't think they could probably say anything because number one, you're, you was a lease driver. So it was like, you know, you, you was leasing to own the truck that you was, that you was in. So I, I guess what you did or what you have done really don't go against you on, on, on your DAC report or anything like that, because it's, it's like, it's like you're, 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 you're an IC, you're an independent contractor. So it wasn't right. like you was a natural employee of controversial company Super Eagle. I mean, you, they, they could make it like it, but I mean, you were 1099. So you just basically just said, hey, you know, I just, I left the truck at, uh, I let them know. I let them know that I left the truck at uh at at this truck stop. I'm I'm not able to bring it back up to Illinois because you know of my financial situations because of the situ because of my financial situations that they initially put me in. So right. I, I don't think anything will come back on your DAC report, you know. So, yeah, I mean, wow. I, I mean, this, this is savagery. I mean, savagery. I mean, I, I never heard of anybody uh, that's, that's doing them dirty like you do, like you did them. I mean, I wouldn't even consider it being dirty. I, I just consider it as, as you just getting your, your lick back, you know. Pretty much. Because if they had not, if they had given me my rate sheets and they had been honest with how much they were taking that, them loans for, if they had, this never would have happened if they had been honest with people. Because like I said, I made money. Like, I have a brand new truck. So my truck was not that bad. You know what I mean? It wasn't constantly breaking down or nothing. So I can make money if I run the miles. But the fact that you are skimming off the top and when I ask you for the rate sheets, you... Send me like, oh yeah, let me ask my manager, and, and then you don't ever get back to me, and you just kind of like, whatever. I mean, I already knew right then and there what you was doing, so I already know what everybody say is true about them. The, the whole race, sheet. I know it's true. Like, I'm not an idiot. Like, I'm not a dumb female. Like, I'm just not. Aren't you? My friends will tell you I'm like the FBI. Like, I investigate everything. Aren't you afraid of of what the people might say though? I mean, some people might come back and say, "Well, why did you go why why did you, you know, why did you if you knew all of that going in, why why did you go and 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 try to and try to work it out with super, controversial company Super Eagle if you knew all of that going in? Aren't you afraid people will and say that? Initially, I didn't know all of it going in. I learned some of it as I went because my son's dad is an uh, uh, owner operator. So, you know, I began asking him some questions. And so that's like when I started asking them things and I'm coming back with like, okay, they're spinning me on this. So like, you know, and I started asking other owner operators because I have a lot of trucking friends. So like, you know, I reach out to them if I've got a question and, you know, they kind of give me some guidance. And so... Um, when I'm going to them and they're spinning me, like, if you were being honest with me, you're not going to spin me. You're just going to flat out be like, okay, yeah, here you go. But you're not doing that. You're sending me a, she's like, well, I send you a dispatch sheet. I didn't ask for a dispatch sheet, you dummy. I asked for a rate count sheet. You're, I, a dispatch sheet means nothing to me. So what about that dispatch? So what about, but, so what about so what about new people now, like now, after everything that is still being said and done uh, with controversial company Super Eagle? I mean, would you, what do you say to people, what do you say to the people that's still over here saying that Super Eagle is a good company to work for, they... They, 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 they still a good company to work for. Do you feel that they doing it for the, you think they doing it for the, 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 the reference, uh, the referrals or, 
Do you honest no, or do you honestly no. think they still that these uh, guys that still promoting lightweight promoting super ego? You you think that is that is for the referral or or you think they really? It very well be. It very well could be one of their friends or family. I don't know, but at this point, like if you're making money with them, I'm happy for you. Like I, I really am, and I wish you the best with them. But at the same time. It's not about whether or not you're making money with them. If they're skimming off the top, they're scamming you. That's a problem. They breach their contract. They are liars. They're fraudulent. Cool. This coffee smells like shit. What do you? You know what, what I mean. What That's do you, where the problem is. What do you say? What do you say to people that might just be like, "Well, you just uh, a disgruntled." employee or you just a just but I'm not I had a great relationship with my dispatcher. I didn't have a bad experience with any of them up there other than the trailer yard guy that was like, Oh, I had a dream about you last night. Can you imagine? Like, no I can't, but okay, thank you. You know, other than that, like I've not had an issue with the, the people. Not whatsoever. My little boy was up there. They were great to my little boy. But you're lying to me. You're scamming me. And I don't like when you're lying and scamming to me, especially when I'm there and being honest with you and I'm there to work for you and I'm there to make you money and make me money. There's no reason to lie and scam me. Well, that's what's up. Amanda. <laughs> I don't think for days. Savagery. Like I could keep going if I wanted to, but I got money to be making. So I'm going to let the truck go away and <laughs> move on. <laughs> Ah! Otherwise, I'd fill this bitch up and I'd be rolling it for another week. Ooh, but savagery. how much money did he make? Savagery. That's that's all I can say, man. I mean, now, guys, listen. As always, I do appreciate everybody that's that's that comes on to the channel and and speak their testimony, share their stories, and everything like that. So let me just throw this disclaimer out here. This is the this is the thoughts and stories of the people that comes on to the channel that don't have nothing to do with the host. I'm just here just to listen and 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 just have a great conversation with everybody that 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 wants to come on and share their experience on the recruiter call channel. So I do appreciate you Amanda. Thank you very much, man. Listen, uh I mean if you guys are are still interested in controversial company super ego by all means go you know just just go and and see what it works for you I mean, homework, man. it's 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 all about it, it's all about you it, it's all about you i mean you heard the stories you read the reviews you see the 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 comments you see the videos it is it's all on you uh so yeah so amanda i know you're busy i know you got to get that truck somewhere <laughs> i know you got to get that truck somewhere <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and uh let you do that and uh and yeah you know definitely keep uh definitely keep in contact with uh the recruiter car channel man because i mean i i i'm i'm fully vested I'm fully vested in your stories, man. So after I, I, I hear I, I hear all the stories and everybody in the comment session still be like, oh, well, they lying and they ain't doing this. And how come you ain't talking to nobody that's making money? I, I said it before. I'm like, well, the people that's that's making that that is making money with Super Ego is not going to come out and say, yeah, uh. I'm making X amount of that. Only a handful of people is gonna come out and say that, but the ones that that likes to run illegal, that likes to get their clock reset, that likes to get uh that that likes to constantly, you know, do illegal stuff to do, you know, to be uh to be an outlaw, they ain't gonna come, they they not gonna come on social media and 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 say all of that. You know, this like when Cooking in the Hammer Lane came on the channel and talked about what he talked about. 
you still got people in disbelief. Oh, he's just doing that for the referral bonus and he's just he's lying and all like that. So why would somebody that's making money with controversial company Super Eagle, why would they be making money? If they're gonna be making money with them, why would they come out on social media and and try to try to explain, you know, that we're making money? If Either one, it's one of their people doing it to try and build up their reputation because so many people are knocking it down. Or two, they could be making money. They could be using their own trucks that are paid off. They could have a big bank account set aside for repairs if their truck breaks down. It could be any of that. Like, there's so much that could play into how they're able to make money. I could have stayed and made money, like I said. But the fact that they were supposed to push back a $700 truck payment because the day I got the truck, there was something wrong with the radiator, and I told them about it. And when it broke down the next day, they said, well, don't worry about it. We'll help you out with this payment, whatever. And they didn't. They put me in the hole doing that. And when you get in the hole, it's hard to get out of the hole. Every day for the last 10 years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today, she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? Unless you're running illegal. I'm not fixing the thing or run illegal every day of the week, the whole year, to come out, out of the hole with them. You said you were going to do something that was your responsibility with following through with what your word was. Oh, well, we'll pull, but I don't give a fuck what the hell you pull. I have screenshots. I will tell you that there was something wrong with that the day I pulled it off this lot and I told you all about it. And you told me to keep an eye on it and let you guys know what was going on if it had a problem after that. And it did. And it did. And it's a brand new truck. It had 40, 42,000 models on it. It's a, it's a Kenworth. It's a, it's a beautiful ass truck. Trust me, I'm told he is tough and I'm letting it go. It's a beautiful truck. This is my first time driving a Kenworth and I am in love with it. Listen to Marvin. Oh, my Lord. Listen to Marvin. Listen to Marvin. Listen to Marvin.